Hey everybody, it is me, the Sleeve Singer, coming to you with my week 30 post-op update. Um, let me give you the numbers real quick. Uh, the um, highest recorded weight for me in April of 2012 was 295 pounds. Um, weight date of surgery was 277 pounds. Um, the last time I reported to you all, I was at 191, and as of this morning, I am still at 191. Um, I am okay with that. Um, no change in weight. Um, I am maintaining, and I realize that the weight will not um, fall off as fast as it has been, um, no matter how much I work out, because everything is reflective of this. Um, and, um, you know, I, I'm not... Uh, even going to tell you guys that I am a cookie cutter eater because I am not. Um, there are certain things that I do every day, every day, like I have a protein shake every morning. Um, it starts my day. Um, but uh, everything else is still reflective. Gosh, I look uh, different back there. Maybe I'll stay back here. Um, uh, everything is reflective of, um, you know, the rest of my day after that protein shake. I work out pretty much five to six days a week, um, sometimes six to seven. And um, it's it just, you know, my body has to catch up uh, to knowing that it's still surviving. Um, I've had rapid weight loss um, for seven months. Um, seven months um, is actually... Um, Friday for me is actually my seventh month, seven month surgery anniversary um, on the calendar. Um, so uh, you know, I'm I'm not concerned at all about it. Um, you know, you're not going to lose every week, and um, I'm okay with it. So moving on from that, uh, what an interesting week it has been. Um, my last video. I requested that um, I did a video tag and, and asked that you guys um, share your breaking point with me to bring you to this point of considering surgery um, for your weight management. And um, some of you guys shared with me and us so many touching stories um, that it really should have opened the eyes of people who are just out here thinking that this is the easy way out because you know no one chooses surgery um, as you know the option um, you know without great thought and without kind of being you know having a reason to not just cuz so um, this this was a uh, this was very eye-opening for me, very heartfelt, and I actually wrote the names down of people who um, left video responses. Um, if I don't say your name, um, blame it on my head, not my heart. Um, I am, uh, I'm just floored, so here we go. Um, we got Sasha LaRue. Ting, thank you so much for sharing. Miss Haitian QT, um, or as Sasha calls you, Miss Haitian Beauty. Um, Simply One Cal out there in Cali getting it. Um, thank you for sharing yours um, and, and for keeping it real because you don't hide anything or try to camouflage your real reasons. Um, and, uh, you know, that that's my little sis. That's how we do. So it's all good. Um, KD Harrisful, very emotional. Thank you so much. True Jamaican, your story also very emotional. Thank you so much. Um, Less of Sarah, um, thank you for sharing um, yours, your your video, and um, for adding a different perspective of something that I said in the last video, which I want to address later in this video. Um, uh, Danny's girl, uh, you had me cracking up a little bit um, because you reminded me of me in the pre-op room because um, I was like you bawling and crying and going through it and you pre-oppers I'm not trying to scare you um, it's my issue um, with going to sleep um, I just don't like relinquishing that um, but I certainly don't want to be awake while they digging on my organs so um, but if you go back because um, some people um, 
had Miss Free Spirit had actually went back to my real early videos like pre op and um caught up I guess on my story and um if you haven't done that feel free to go back there. Um I know I do that for people that I newly subscribe to um because I wanna understand your journey and your story. Um and uh you know um in my uh one day post our video I talk about I cried a lot and um Danny's girl, you did too, apparently. And I cried because, um, like I said, I was worried about the anesthesia. But I cried so bad that um, the the like technician or whatever person came in and was like, you want me to get the chaplain to come and pray over you? And I was like, yeah. And they came, and my girlfriend was in there with me, my sister. I had a small crowd. Um, the uh, whole operating room, they, they waiting to wheel me in. I'm sitting in there bawling and crying. The surgeon comes in like, you want to cancel? I'm like, that's not funny. Um, no, I don't want to cancel. Just let me get it together. Um, so, uh, you know, the um, after they finished praying over me, the anesthesiologist came in. He was like, let me let me give you a little something to relax you, a little glass of wine. It's going to feel like you had three. Put that little bubble in my vial. Um, I remember being wheeled into the operating room, and uh, I remember me singing, you know, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I was singing that the whole time. And... Uh, uh, I remember uh, somebody holding my hand saying, why you stop singing? And then a mask went over my face, and next thing you know, they was waking me up. So I'm a mess all because um, <laughs> I'm just a chicken when it comes to that. So um, pre operas don't pay attention to me. But um, Danny's girl, you had me cracking up because it sounded like we were a lot alike. Um, Skiwi, a.k.a. 08, thank you very much for sharing your story. Um, Nadora Deb, um, thank you so much for sharing yours. Um, very insightful. And uh, I got to see Lollipop. Thanks for putting her on there. Um, LJB415 Able, a.k.a. Lisa, thank you very much for sharing yours. And Changing Before Your Eyes, our Shiro. She is truly the epitome of surviving for yourself. She did it all. And Slick, he is the man right there with you. Couldn't ask for more support for you because um, you just really wanted to... Um, survive and that's that's just great i'm so glad to know you i'm so glad to have talked to you i'm so proud of you and um you know uh keep on pushing because you look great you are beautiful on the inside and out um and that says a lot because sometimes when we're pretty on the outside we ain't pretty on the inside so you are both and i'm so glad to know you so thank you so much for sharing your story um i uh think i said everybody that i wrote down um, again, if you made a video, either I haven't seen it yet or blame it on this and not this um, because, uh, you know, I, I just uh, forgot to to say your name. So thank you for sharing. Um, you know, you, you guys' response really made me realize that um, I, I just really didn't get deep enough um, with my stuff, um, with my little story that I gave you um, because... In many of your um, stories, you talked about embarrassing things, and many of them, if not all of them, happened to me. Um, I have had the look on the airplane when, you know, people are like, please don't let her be sitting next to me. I've had that look. I've sat next to people and could feel them leaning on my back fat and me trying to be inconspicuously pulling it back so they don't know that they're leaning on it because I'm embarrassed. Um, I've had the walk of shame um, down the uh, other ramp of the ride um, when they can't close the ride down on you I've had my family I think um, True Jamaican I think it was talked about how you know even her family was trying to not um you know, uh, Trump were defending her because of how people were kind of laughing at her. Um, I've had that happen where my family or people around me are embarrassed for me because they know that I'm in an embarrassing situation because of my weight, um, whatever the circumstance may be. Um, it's just like literally having, no pun intended, an elephant in the room with you um, in some situations. Um, and... Uh, so I've had that. I've had many of those embarrassing things that you guys have shared. And you, you actually um, made me recall those memories and it made me realize that um, all of those things, kind of like what Lessa Sarah was saying in her, her um, video, um, 
all of those things have kind of brought us here. Um, and I guess this is a good segue to talk about Sarah's video. Um, she and uh, Khalif referenced um, my video when I talked about how I believe that weight loss surgery should be your um, last um, your your last resort or your last stop in in getting control of your weight. And um, you know, Khalif was was in it wholeheartedly, and so was Lester Sarah. But she added a different twist to it and made me realize that maybe um, what I said wasn't well. It, it, it's not like I don't believe what I said. I think that um, it can be construed in a certain way, and and I wanted to clarify. Um, so uh, I think that what I really meant to say as far as what, um, you know, things you should do before is because we, we've all talked about the mindset that you need to be in um, f in order to, with any weight loss management program, but especially with this one, you need to have a good knowledge of your relationship with food. And I do believe that the one of the ways is because you have tried to lose weight either on a program or on your own. And I think even Lessa Sarah said just she had, you know, done some things on her own. Um, she had, she didn't necessarily had done all the programs that are out there, um, but she had made attempts on her own. And during those attempts um, we've that we've done prior to having weight loss surgery or um, prior to being in a program to have it, um, you are discovering and peeling your layers and discovering the kind of person that you are as far as relationship with food. And that's what I meant um, because it, it's a mind game here. Um, you know, I, I battle every day um, mentally with food. And I think that if I didn't already know that these battles were coming, um, that I would probably be even weaker than I already am. And, and that's kind of what I meant um, by that. Um, so you got to be honest with yourself. Um, everybody has a reason to choose weight loss surgery. Um, it may not be because, uh, you know, you tried all the other programs, but it is because something has happened and there's a switch that goes on and you just say, you know, it's time and I really need to, to do the most that I can to make it work this time. So I just kind of, that's really where I kind of went with that whole statement is, Something else needs to have happened prior. This should not be your first, you know, oh, I want to lose weight. I'll have surgery. It shouldn't be there. You, there's other things that should have happened prior to this. Um, that's kind of where I went with it. So um, in one of my other videos, um, someone asked me to um, show uh, or made a comment, I think, or sent me a personal message about the vitamins that I take. So real quick, I was going to go through them. Um, this is Target's generic version of calcium that I'm taking now with D3 in it. Um, I think this, yes, it does. It has bone support D3 in it. These are gummies. Um, I actually, let me show you one. I was actually taking gummies very post-op. You know, they're little square things that dissolve in my mouth. Um, I think this one is the strawberry one. I take two of these every day. Um, and uh, they... Um, you know, I know that there are pills out there now, but the gummies work for me. And, you know, um, the last time I tried to take a pill, it was too large. And now I just have a paranoia. So I just stick with the gummies. Um, and nothing's wrong with that because I'm still getting in the nutrients and all. I also do one-a-day um, gummies. Vita Craves gummies. Um, these, they sell different kinds. This is actually immunity support. Actually, vitamin C is in this one. And it's a little bit more expensive, about like $2. Um, by the way, I get this at Walmart. I got the other one at Target, like I said. But Walmart has a version of the D3 calcium as well. Um, I also take, um, remember my um, my video, I told you guys that I was, um, my maybe two videos ago, that I was vitamin D deficient. So I take these D3. This is just some, um, uh, this was a twin pack actually. So um, it's a year supply basically because it's 200 um, tablets and, and I take one a day. Um, and that is, these are also gels. Because, um, you know, I just figure why put yourself through the harshness of trying to break down a pill if you don't have to. So these are like little soft gels. I can show you. They're like little eggs. Oh, I gotta find that before Nyla does. Okay, I'll see it. Um, I'll get that up. Uh, but that is, um, you know, it, it works well. I take one of them every day. Uh, remember, I told you guys also that I was uh, iron deficient. 
So for me, I have a prescription iron pill that I take. I actually take three of these joints every day. Um, I uh, was only taking one, thinking that that's what I was supposed to do. And someone said, read the bottle. So I was supposed to be taking three a day, one with every meal I have. So I do that. Um, and I also take B12. I also got this at, um, what do you call it, at Walmart. So, um, and this was uh, 150 tablets, so pretty much a year's supply, because this was a twin pack. Same brand as the uh, D3, so I took that. Um, so that's what I take every day. Um, I load up a little medicine, medicine bottle with my little stuff in it and, you know, work it out all day long, sit it out on my desk. Sorry, y'all. Got a little thirsty. Um, what else do I have for you? Um, so, you know, I never told you guys I have um, uh, got a um, gift card to have a massage done. Uh, my girlfriend gave it to me for Christmas. Um, and I, at that time, probably around Christmas time, I was still in the twos. So I said to myself, you know what, this is going to be my gift to myself when I get in Wonderland. And, um, you know, I'm nine pounds in Wonderland now. And I was trying to wait until I got to the 180s. And I said, you know what? I, I'm going to reward myself. So Saturday, around 1.30 Eastern Time, this woman will be sitting butt naked in a massage room getting me a, um, a nice massage. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I feel like it's my little reward for all my hard work. Um, on Saturdays, I take a step class that's excuse me, pretty um, vigorous. And um, I'm going to come home, take me a hot shower. And uh, then pretty much go and, and get my massage, and I cannot wait. It's going to be excellent. So um, looking forward to that. And uh, guess what? I deserve it. Been working hard. Um, what else? Uh, I think that's it for me. This is like um, a 16-minute video so far. Um, I uh, haven't made a long video in a while, so I hope you all don't mind on this one. Um, just had a lot to talk about. Um I, uh, what else? I'm just looking at my notes here. Um, I, uh, was requested to make one longer. Um, Kel, I hope you're happy. Um, the lovebirds are still alive. You may have heard them tweeting throughout this whole thing. Um, I should show them to y'all because they're going to be gone this time. Um, next week. Let's see if I can get them on here. Uh, let's see. Can y'all see? Let's see. Can y'all see them over there? They're over there hanging out. <laughs> they are truly lovebirds, let me tell you. Because, sorry about the jiggling. Because they are um, right up on each other. I hope y'all can see them. We'll see when I watch this back. Um, so, what else? Uh, I guess that's it for me. Um, I actually found a clip of the kind of kickboxing class I take, which reminds me, let me tell you this too. Next Wednesday, um, well, next Thursday, Friday, next week, I will be in Williamsburg, Virginia. I bowl in a tournament every year. It's actually just a little getaway um, that my mom goes with me. Um, my aunt is going this year as well. My, my um, aunt, uncle recently passed away. Um, his wife is going as well, um, and uh, my sister goes, um, and it's just a little family outing, but this will be my first time going down there, because um, we go twice a year. The last time I was down there, I was it was July, and um, I hadn't uh, had surgery yet. I was getting ready to, had chosen a date, and was pretty much just waiting, and um, I made the announcement to my friends down there that this was probably going to be my last, you know trip down here because we based that trip off of just eating and drinking pretty much and I can't get down like that no more and and I won't let myself get sucked into trying to fit in with how we used to do it I'm a different person now and um you know I'll have a drink um and we'll probably get a little zooted from the one drink since I don't drink anymore and and be fine with that but I am taking my workout clothes with me and um there is a uh facility um on uh the uh uh we call it complex cuz we're staying in a condo complex and um I plan on you know getting my you know y'all know I hate the machines but I got to do something I'm actually going to get online and see if the classes that I take um because it's like a program and I'll, I'll tell you about that in a second um if they offer it at any gym that's near there cuz I know when I went to get trained for it I went down to Virginia myself so hopefully there's some gyms who 
um, have the classes down there and I could kind of be a guest for the day. I really, really like that. And I'm going to get online to see if I can find it. Um, but um, I wanted to tell you all that I found uh, the kickboxing class I take. I found it online and I wanted to tell you all how it works um, real quick. Oh, God, I'm in at 20 minutes. Okay, real quick. Um, basically, it's an interval class. Um, you work um, even with step. You work different muscle groups. Um, and you also work your heart differently. So, you know, you go up real high, some tracks. And a track is like a five or six minute musical segment where you're doing a move, you know, intensely for that five to six minutes. And then you get like a little break while they put on another track. It's like that for 60 minutes. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm hoping that... Um, I can remember to add this um, link that I found so that you can see how it goes. Because you'll see one of the tracks for kickboxing um, that I take and you'll see how it works. It's so much fun. And, um, you know, it's part of the reason why I'm successful with like, weight loss. Because exercise should be fun. It shouldn't be a job. And um, I'm luckily I have found um, what works for me. So, all right, I'm ending it. Cal, 20 minutes? Come on now. I'm good. Right. Um, I will talk to you guys. And my seventh month surge anniversary is actually Friday. Maybe I'll get out here and do a quick blurb or a body shot um, for that day. Um, but other than that, I am done. So I will talk to you guys later. And I hope you have a great week. See ya.